Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at a new puzzle called the Cross Nerdle. You've seen me do the Nerdle puzzle where I try to identify a true mathematical equation. Well, they've got a new game where it's just like a crossword but with numbers instead of words. Yes, I can read off the screen just as well as you can. So, let's have a go. What's it going to look like today? Um, that one across the, uh, the left, 62, something 5. And it has to end with a 5 as well. So I suspect that that is 62 minus 57. I think that's probably unique. This one on the right hand side has got a lot of information as well. Surely that's got to be an equals down there. So something minus 2 equals 6. That's going to be an 8. What else have we got? 3 plus 6 does indeed equal 9. And it can't be 7 times, or 7 plus, or 7 divided by 6, so it's got to be 7 minus 6. Um, again, we're missing an equals, so this is going to be 3 minus 2 equals 1. And I suspect we're going to have to have... Oh, this is interesting. I don't think... Maybe we haven't got the equals here. Equals 8. Maybe it's 6 times 4 equals... Ah, last square rules. Okay, I don't know what that means. It could be 6 times 4 equals 3 times 8, or it could just be 6 times 4 divided by 3 equals 8. Every other row doesn't have any sum after the equals, so I suspect this is not what it's looking for, but we'll put it in anyway. There we go. So it was divided by 3 equals 8. I knew it would be. Um, but I was just experimenting, because it's the first time I've ever done this game. But we've learned something useful for future days, which is basically you never have anything after the equals except for a number. It's never something equals something plus something. Anyway, that is my first and first successful attempt at the cross nerdle. But Monday number zero, difficulty starter, it was a very easy one, as you saw. So let me know if you have attempted this puzzle and let me know what your thoughts are. That's the cross nerdle. Thank you for watching and bye for now.